Hello and welcome to The New Normal with Steve Benequist. Welcoming you to The New Normal. I'm New Normal and this is the Steve Benequist. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to be talking about something uh, that kind of ticks me off. It may get a little serious. It may, uh, hopefully won't bore you. But there may not be as many laughs. But keep in mind that by the end of the episode, coming up a little bit later, uh, we have a letter from a viewer uh, who says he saw a mongoose and a cobra who were friends. And he's got the pictures to prove it. Coming right up, right after this. And welcome back to The New Normal with Steve Benequist. Today's new normal I want to talk about is screwed up priorities. In our staggered return to normalcy, uh, at least here in Los Angeles, California, where I live, uh, choices have been made, I'm sure out of pragmatism on some level, uh, but not really with a thought to the greater good. Um, and it just happened a couple of weeks ago, and I do have a bone to pick. Um, so parking enforcement, which was suspended back in, I guess, March, uh, was a great, great boon to myself as an apartment dweller, and I'm sure a lot of people around Los Angeles struggling a lot more than I am. Um, for you see, I live on a street that has, during normal times, Monday through Friday, the two sides of the street are high traffic zones. They're turned off to parking from 9 a, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and then uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That means you can't park your car there. I'm also uh, next to a bunch of meters because it's very right around the corner from a bunch of commercial zone. So that's off limits. Then there's a school on the next block. So all but half of that block is impossible to use. Uh, on any regular basis because in the mornings and afternoons, again, you guessed it, you can't park there. So, no one's in school. Still. Yet they've reinstated the street cleaning. Which means uh, you can't park there a couple of days a week. And, uh, and the high traffic zone thing on the other major street has been reinstated. Even though people are not going to work, the traffic is still less than it was. And beyond all that, we're at the F all end of the street where the very end, it's only my block that includes that level uh, of uh, control, which happens to have some apartment buildings on it where it would be pretty great if they would just let people park there. They're old buildings. They don't have any underground parking and it's screwed up. And for those of you who don't live in LA, um, we have street cleaning every other uh, two days a week, the two sides of the street every week. And I noticed week after week, month after month, that these side streets are not getting dirty. The tickets you get for leaving your car there, $73. If you think about it, the city is filling its coffers off the backs of people who can't afford to live in a place that have off-street parking. Um, another thing is, going back a little ways, when the Great Recession hit in 2010 or maybe 2009, Los Angeles, the meters used to only go up to 6 p.m. in almost all places. They jacked it up to 8 p.m. and they've never gone back. So, again, it's punitive. It's, uh, and I realize any humor that might be here is going out the window. Sorry, we can't all be a Rachel Maddow. We can't all be a comedian. But, uh, but it's screwed up. And I say until the schools open, and I think in the long term, the street cleaning, they really need to look at the fact that the streets were no dirtier. And I've seen, during previous times when street cleaning was around, a big stream of water going around two blocks straight down a hill of recycling bins blocking the exact same spots where the cars would have been, and of course they don't get any tickets. It's just a cash grab. So, priorities. Maybe complain to your city council. Um, but... We got something fun coming up. Sorry if that brought you down. Uh, we do have pictures and a letter from a viewer who saw a cobra and a mongoose who were friends. <laughs> Strange animal friendships. I love them. Right after this.
And we're back. And here we have a letter from Kyle D. in Dunnigan's Falls, Minnesota. He says, Dear Steve, love the program. Uh, I love it when it's new and when it's noon and when it's normal. In close, please find... Well, we don't want to say how much he's sending. But uh, we also have photographs, Steve, of the craziest thing I ever saw. But I don't see any photographs. Damn it. I'm sorry. Um... In case I forget to put in the photographs, here's what I saw. A mongoose and a cobra facing each other down and then very quickly hugging each other again and again until they both fell down, covered in, I think, ketchup. Maybe they were eating something together. Anyway, it was so darling and sweet. I love how even enemies can be friends. Yours sincerely, Kyle D. in Dunnigan's Falls. Well, that was a delight. I want to thank you, Kyle. Uh, I'm sorry that there was no photo, but uh, we can all picture it, I think. <laughs> so um, that just about wraps up this episode of The New Normal with Steve Benequist. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation like Kyle, uh, like Valderrama, we've got the Valderrama mic I'm tapping on right now, and, uh, and others, please, there's a, a Venmo link and a PayPal link right below this video. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, never miss an episode. Write us your thoughts on strange animal friendships or screwed up priorities, and maybe I'll read it on the air. Till next time, I'm Steve Benequist reminding you that if it ain't new, it ain't normal.